All right, hello YouTube again. Um, I had to make some modifications to this um, multi-fuel waste oil burner stove conversion propane tank, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, what happened was I came down this morning and uh, the Pyrex dish was broken. I show that uh, maybe I can join a couple of videos together or something. But in any case, this is what I did. Uh, new Pyrex dish. This time around I put some um, fiberglass packers um, or ceramic packers rather um, between the the glass and the metal um, and what that does is it just gives it room to expand also I went around with some high temp silicone um, so it's got that to expand into and uh, both sides so I mean it fired great last night but what happened was um, you know it took a long time to cool down because it was so hot um, it was okay last night but this morning when it came out something had happened uh, the Pyrex dish didn't like it and it died so uh, hopefully I don't kill this one now. Uh, that's inside the stove. Um, I made a bit of a, a mod because I want to use this as a, a multi-fuel stove. Um, I put a door on it and crudely just burnt uh, the holes in the back of it. Um, I was going to drill it with a hole saw but uh, I broke it. In any case, um, so that's the setup inside the uh, inside that door. Um, if I'm using it in stove mode, you know, where I want to use uh, logs, coal, whatever, um, in the unit, um, I have to just drop this pot. So the blast tube can stay in, just undo two screws, drop the pot, leave it there in the bottom, it'll collect the ashes, and uh, the air comes up through this as though it was a chimney, feeds uh, feeds in here, and, uh, and that's it, I can use it as a stove. So if I can do this with one hand and demonstrate, this is just a standard cast iron grate. And uh, it fits in there, and all I do, you know, put some stuff in there and light it. Um, and that's it, nice and tight. So, you know, the only way it can get air is by drawing it through the bottom. So again, if I want to use it as a, as a multi-fuel stove, I just take that pot off. Or pull the whole thing out if I want. Uh, close this door. And then I, I can regulate it um, with this. Okay, I just wanted to show that if I was um, if I open the door, that I don't get any any smoke blowing back. So, uh, <coughs> admittedly, um. the bottom door closed but you can see unless the flame is directed out uh, the smoke generally wants to go up the chimney okay so I'm using it as a stove at the moment um, just I've thrown in some logs and a couple of little bits and pieces, and it, it's really going. And uh, it's funny to see the um, the flames swirl around inside the, the Pyrex dish. Hopefully, it's able to withstand that sort of uh, abuse. But um. It's beginning to go. So there's the, the waste oil burner unit, and it just pushes up through the hole, no biggie. And uh, there's the bottom. And I can control the, the burn with that. Yeah, the glass is blackened up on me because of the stuff I put in, but it's it's running just as a as a stove, and there's the temperatures there in Fahrenheit. Just as a multi-fuel stove, I mean, you can put coal or anything you like in there. You can see that's the uh, where the laser is shining. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. That's the uh, you know support for the oil line going in. So there's no oil line going in there. Uh, I think you can hear it. There's the temperature.
so very hot and I have it you know I have that choke down if I open that I'll get more heat than I want I'm afraid of breaking that Pyrex dish it's gone quite quite black and I don't want to break it so I'm not going to overdrive this but uh, suffice it to say that it's um, capable of producing a serious amount of heat. going really well uh, it worked like it was supposed to and uh, very happy very cheap way of making a stove, you know, for your um, or a heat source for your workshop or whatever. Uh, so that's it. Um, I'll paint it and I'll uh, I'll show the finished product when I get it uh, get it done. A couple of days or whatever. Okay, thanks for watching.